Well, the power of nature on display as warmer weather, coupled with powerful winds over the new year, have created some massive ice shelves along Lake Winnebago's shoreline. Well, today, NBC 26's Eric Kress traveled to Fond du Lac, along with many others, to check out the temporary tourist attraction. In the town of Pipe, a short-lived tourist attraction has established a temporary home right in front of Jim and Linda's Lakeview Supper Club. Rumor had it that there were big shelves at Jim and Linda's, so we decided, since we had the day free, we were going to check it out. Throughout the day, the sightseekers rolled through to see what the owner of this supper club says Mother Nature produced in less than a half of an hour. You look at the flat ice out there, but the wind gets a hold of it, and once it gets going, it, like I said, he was very lucky he's got a place to eat here yet. Everyone here took in the spectacle a bit different. Some marveled at it, some scaled the slick terrain to the top, and others, so many others, simply snapped a photo of the scene. So you took my picture. I took your picture. And I took yours. That's good. <laughs> So how big is this ice shove? Well, it stretches about a couple of hundred feet long, and at its tallest point, it actually towers the supper club. But if you want to get a really good view, you're going to want to go up. And you wonder, how does the wind, even a strong wind, push that kind of weight and, okay. uh, and push it to that height? It's just incredible to think about it. And while it's tough to say how long the ice shove will be around, those who have the chance to take it in. It's gorgeous. This is the first time I've seen an ice shove, period. Are glad they made the trip. In the town of Pipe, Eric Crest, NBC 26. Unfortunately, the owners of Jim and Linda's Supper Club will have to endure some warmer temperatures and high winds headed their way starting on Sunday. Well, hopefully those ice shoves stay put for the sake of that supper club.